Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video of Midas short video series. In this video, we will see how to perform vibration analysis for a pedestrian bridge. So here we are having a truss bridge that is for the pedestrians. And for the vibration analysis, it is important that we first perform the eigen value analysis and then we define the time history load cases for pedestrian crowding. So for that, first we will define the vibration analysis by going under the analysis eigenvalue we can select the number of frequency here and we can select the type of analysis that we want whether it is subspace langos or reds so i'm selecting langos and i click on ok another thing that we need to do is to convert the self weight of the structure into masses so here we will just check on this option of convert self weight into masses once this is done now we need to define the time history load cases and function for performing the pedestrian vibration analysis so for that, under the load and dynamic loads, here you can see we are having the options for definition of load cases, time history functions and dynamic nodal loads. So for performing this, there will be three step process. We will first define the load cases, that is the time history load case. Then we define the time history function and then we will define the dynamic nodal loads. So let's define the load case first. Here I am selecting the end time as 40 seconds. Then we can give the analysis type whether it is linear, non-linear, analysis method and transient or periodic time history. Then we give the damping ratio and I click on OK. So my load case is defined. Now for the definition of function, here we go. And we can directly define the functions by copying the values from any excel in case we are having that so i will quickly copy the values so here we are having the function values so basically these values are calculated as per the relevant code that we get the sinusoidal function based upon the equation we are having the forcing equation we are having so we calculate this function and then we can directly use it So I'll copy paste this function, give the name as walking. Click on OK. We'll select the function type as as force. And now we are good to go ahead. Now we have defined the time history load case functions. Now we need to apply this function to the nodes we are having with the arrival time. So as we know that this time history function will be traveling towards the through the bridge and the arrival time for each node will be different based upon the speed of pedestrians so based upon that here I select the function and we can give the arrival time so suppose I am selecting it for the first node We will give the scale factor as minus 1 as it is applied in the downward direction and we click on apply. So once this is done, you can just see on the table that we get these values. So as of now, I have defined the arrival time as 0 for this. So in this way, it becomes repetitive for us to define the values for single node. So we can directly copy the values from the Excel. Like here, I have defined these values. So I copy these values and now we can perform the analysis. Now once the analysis is performed, we will go under the results and from here time is to results. We can check the maximum acceleration and the displacement that is occurring due to our time history defined function. You can also click on region. apply 
so the maximum value for the displacement here you can see it is 2.1 e to the power minus 4 meter and we can see the animation as well like this so the displacement you can see maximum as 2.1 e to the power minus 4 here and the node is 2030 node that is having the maximum deformation similarly for acceleration we can just check on this acceleration and click on apply so this is the maximum acceleration 2.6 e to the power minus 5 that is occurring and the node is 1 and minimum node is 44 that is having the minimum acceleration so these values should be under the limit as per the relevant code and in this way we check the results for the displacement and acceleration under the time history load case defined so this was defined for the walking similarly we will define the function for the jogging and crowd conditions and accordingly we can check the results i hope this video was informative to you see you in the next